I'm going to show you how to make the iconic Pao Bhaji Masala which originated in Mumbai near Mahalakshmi world area and soon it spread all over India as well as abroad. So let us start making the original version of Pao Bhaji. I have boiled four potatoes, two carrots, few peas and uh, cauliflower, about quarter cauliflower and uh, a small piece of beetroot, mainly that is for color. I boiled it in one uh, cup of water and one teaspoon of salt. So here I have the boiled uh, vegetables and I have retained this water to use when we are uh, mixing with the masalas. Mash the vegetables nicely so that it becomes a little smooth. Here I have mashed the vegetables and I am going to mash it again after cooking it. In a kadhai, I have put 2 tablespoons of butter and I am going to put about a teaspoon of oil. The kadhai is nice and hot so I am going to put 3 chopped onions. I've chopped it very finely. We are going to saute the onions till it becomes golden brown. When the onions are half cooked, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste so that both will cook together and the raw, raw flavor of ginger will go. The onions have started turning brown and so I'm going to add uh, one capsicum which I've very finely chopped. We're going to saute the onions and the capsicum for about two minutes. I have grated four tomatoes and I'm going to add this now. To this add about two to three tablespoons of tomato paste. Now add about three uh, green chilies which I have uh, chopped very very finely. To this I am adding one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder and two teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder, one teaspoon salt. Mix well and let it cook for about two minutes. It's time to add our pressure cooked vegetables. The most important ingredient, pao bhaji masala, I'm going to put about three teaspoons or you can put four teaspoons. Mix it well and now we are once again we are going to mash the vegetables. This is the liquid that remained after we had boiled the vegetables so I'm going to add this now. And we are going to cook this on medium flame for about 5 to 7 minutes covered. Let's see if the bhaji is done. Yes, this is a good consistency. Do not make it too thick. This is the right consistency. And now to this we shall add one more blob of butter for extra taste. We'll garnish it with little coriander leaves. In the same pan, I'm going to put some butter that is for the pound, which I'm going to warm it up. Now 
let the bread soak up the butter and little gravy that was remaining in the pan. 